but what is the economic reality and how will the economic reality change or on, on ground activity change post today's credit policy. To understand that, I have got two, two industry veterans, Mr. Vinod Agrawal, CEO, uh, and uh, he represents the commercial vehicle, vehicle business for Aisha Motors. And it doesn't get bigger than this when you have Mr. V.S. Parthasarthi, Chief Financial Officer of Mahindra and Mahindra. Okay, and Mr. Agrawal would also like to get your thoughts. Do you think 25 basis points rate cut is enough to revive the growth in the auto sector? No, it's a welcome move, I would say, but uh, still, as Partha Sarthi said, that uh, it is not enough uh, because from the industry side, definitely in the year 2015, we will look at uh, overall total reduction of around 150 to 200 basis points. And with this today's reduction, we have got 75 basis points. Uh, but then, based on this, uh, the one positive thing is that the sentiments, uh, of course, become positive. When we see these type of moves, it contributes to the positive sentiments and to that extent uh, I would say it's a positive move and let's hope that the, uh, with this the investments should start happening more and, uh, and then of course the impact will come on the CV industry then. Right. And uh, Mr. Agarwal would like to get your thoughts as well. Now, cumulatively, uh, RBI has cut 75 basis points. So has the cost of borrowing for you as a company come down? Uh, as mentioned earlier, I think the, uh, the banks have still not uh, passed on these uh, rate cuts. Uh, like we have seen some reduction in their prime lending rates, which is around 15 basis points or 25 basis points. But it has not fully translated uh, into the uh, you know, reduction in the cost of borrowing. But going forward, uh, I would feel that uh, uh, with this uh, 25 basis points and some more, we are expecting more cuts in, uh, in the next policy announcement in August or in October. Uh, I think they have to come down because if you have to, uh, the rates of interest are still very high in India and uh, they have to come down if the uh, investment sentiments have to pick up and uh, if, we, if you expect that the corporate sector should make more investments, I think the rates have to come down more. And uh, if you look at the commercial vehicles specifically, uh, all the trucks are financed, that everything is financed, 100% of the trucks sold are financed. And still today, the, uh, the rates of interest for the retail uh, truck buyers, they range from uh, 11% to 15%, so which are very high. So they have to come down. And still, we have not seen much uh, uh, reduction in the rates of interest. So we are hopeful that uh, they should come down. Mr. Mr. Agrawal, let's get some closing comments from you. Uh, assuming that interest rates come down by about... Uh, 100 to 125 bips in next two quarters. What will happen to your profitability? Will your profitability increase or are you likely to pass on all the benefits? No, basically, uh, you know, it doesn't impact directly the profitability. The, the impact comes through more growth. Uh, when you get the uh, reduction in the rates of interest, I think we will sell more trucks. If we sell more trucks, then we will get the uh, more profits from more sales, not necessarily from the reduction in our cost of borrowing. Cost of borrowing will have some impact, but the more impact is on the economy. If the economy grows more, then the CV industry or the truck industry or the bus industry will grow more. And if that grows more, we will have more, more volumes and more profits based on that. Mr. Agarwal, thanks very much for taking time out and chatting with us, sharing your outlook as well as perspective as far as the rate cut is concerned and the auto sector as well.